This is uh, William Oravan. Uh, I'm a urologist and I'm the medical director for Maple Leaf Haifu. One of the benefits of 21st century medicine is that we tend to diagnose diseases, prostate cancer included, before the disease has any symptoms. And that's why prostate-specific antigen, a blood test, is a very valuable tool uh, in diagnosing prostate cancer and all men over the age of 50 uh, should have that done on an annual basis. Any single level of PSA is informative but not diagnostic. What is important is what we call PSA kinetics. That is the rate of increase of PSA. PSA velocity is the term or any change in velocity that is acceleration. So regular measurements of PSA are important. Definitive diagnosis is made by transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy. Uh, this is an absolute requirement for correct diagnosis of prostate cancer, gives us an idea of the extent of disease and of the aggressiveness of the disease, measured commonly as a Gleason grade or score out of 10. A transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy is absolutely necessary in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. Some allege that this can be made with the use of MRI alone. Uh, there is reason to believe that may be possible in the future, but currently the literature does not support MRI as a sole diagnostic tool. Transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy remains the gold standard. Candidates for Ablotherm HIFU uh, include all men with organ-confined prostate cancer who do not have evidence of metastatic disease. Factors that are important in determining your eligibility include the Gleason grade of the prostate cancer that has been determined at the time of biopsy, the disease burden uh, also determined by the number of biopsies positive, uh, by the prostate size itself measured in cubic centimeters and obtained by transrectal ultrasound which is done at the time of biopsy and as well the fact that you are in reasonable health and have no conditions which might rule out a spinal anesthetic.